Welcome back to Teardown. This is your Captain Finn Pryor speaking. I thought we dodged the World Eater back there, but it seems if you look out on the wing, there's definitely a World Eater out there and it's slowly eating our plane. Sir, you might want to wake up. Sir, sir, wake. Oh my God, his head fell off. Was that a real guy? All right, I'm just going to get this one. I'm going to pile all the people up over this side. Maybe if the World Eater eats enough humans, it'll be fine. There we go. Put that guy over there. Okay, the wing is almost eaten. The world eater is getting dangerously close to the actual cabin. Oh my god, just a pile of bodies going on over here. Just pile them up. There we go. Get this guy as well. Oh, Jimmy! I haven't seen you in ages. There you go. Stack on there with all the other Jimmys. All right, get that one. It's probably like 50 guys there, right? Just gonna drag this guy over the seat. Oh, I just snapped him in half. Where, oh my god, where is the world eater up to? Okay, it's still munching on the wing. I've got a little bit of time. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right, everything's gonna be okay. I think that was the engine. I think that was just the engine exploding. We don't need an engine. That's fine. We're running on hopes and dreams up here. Let's just put that in there. Nice. Throw that guy in. Awesome. There's enough humans there, hopefully, to sacrifice to the world eater. He'll be like, num, 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 and he'll go away. Oh my god. There's a bell. What's the bell? I'm supposed to be the captain and I don't know what the bell is. Oh, that's getting dangerously close to the side of the plane. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa, the decompression was crazy. And it was over here. Okay, oh yep, it is. It's eaten the plane. It is, come on. The humans are right here. There's one, eat this one. Eat him, he's yummy. He tastes like chocolate. There is definitely a gaping like bite out of the plane at the moment. The world eater is just taking chunks and chunks. Oh my God. Look how big this thing is. It's like a giant sphere. Oh, whoa. Half of the plane on this side is missing. Alrighty, I'm gonna hang out back here with these alive people. I think this walkway has about one more bite until it disappears. Uh. Okay, yeah, that's definitely gone now. We're not crossing over there. All right, we can use this guy as a bridge. Let's just lay this guy down there oh like God. this. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. There goes my bridge. Okay, let's have a good look at our plane. It is almost chewed right through the other side. Okay, is this going to be the piece to fall off or is it going to be the front of the plane? Uh, oh my God. It's this bit, isn't it? Oh no. No, we're going down. Where's this guy? I'm gonna hang on to the businessman who looks like he's crying. Oh no, there's the rest of the plane up there. I tell you what, this plane's incredible. It's managing to fly with just its front half and one wing. Just shut this bell up. Oh man, that thing is so loud. <laughs> Look at this guy. Just been napping during this whole thing. He doesn't care. All right, you're the pilot now. There we go. Well, we've lost both wings now. We're just pretty much the cockpit just flying through the sky. The world eater is still coming down. Look at the size of this thing. It's ginormous. And it's still slowly eating all the plane. Even though we sacrificed like a 20 humans to it. Okay, maybe there's some booze up here. <laughs> there's still these guys. These guys are just hugging, just hugging it out in the end of times. Uh, deceased alive. Oh, that's terrifying. That guy, I can see his ribs. This guy was hugging him and now he's just ribs in a head. This is how big the cockpit is now. It's just, there's barely any floor. There's this guy and this guy is still sleeping. Okay, I'm just going to stand on this guy. Hopefully he doesn't mind or wake up. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. there goes that guy. Okay, I almost died. I don't know what exploded. I think it was that, that man exploded perhaps. Oh no, oh no. Still alive. There is really not much left of this plane. Oh, maybe I can climb up here on the glass. Quick. Quick, get up there. Oh, no. No, it's gonna get me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's coming down. It's coming down. Oh, oh, I'm still on the plane. I'm no, I'm not. <laughs> Bye, plane. Oh, uh, no way. So we've seen what a world eater does to an airplane. What would it do to the back rooms, though? Yeah, don't worry, guys. I got this. Don't worry. This place is super creepy, but it's going to be gone in a matter of seconds. Alrighty, Teddy, you might want to vacate this place or hang on to your pants because here comes the world eater. That's right. I'm just going to get the world eater going. Maybe where's the middle? Where's the middle of this place? Teddy, Teddy, don't you walk away from me. All right, there looks good. All right, let's go. Let's go, world eater. Demolish the back rooms. Do it. This place needs to be cleansed of all evil by using a really evil entity known as the world eater. All right, fight evil with evil. That's what we're doing. Now it looks like an underground parking place. Whoa, I wonder what's going on upstairs. 
Okay, yeah, you can see the world eater is just chomping away at like the fixtures. <laughs> All right, let's go through the, the pools. Why do they call it the pools and not like the wet rooms? That would make sense. Uh, the elevator rooms. There we go. Let's go up. Oh my God. The twisty rooms. <laughs> if we keep going this way, we should be able to get to the upstairs area of the back rooms. Oh, oh, is this it? Oh yeah, this is it. This is the upstairs area. It's just being demolished by the world eater. Oh, that is cool because we're going to be able to see if there's any sort of secrets behind these walls and things. Oh, I wonder where the back room's parasite is. Oh, yeah. Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. We've got the back room's parasite. Come over this way, champ. Enjoy some world eater. What do you think about that? World eater, get him. Did it kill him? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. No. No. No, I just grabbed him by the pants and I said, no, that's what you do to bacteria. <laughs> oh my god. All right, it's just me and this beast inside the back rooms, the concrete rooms, I guess. All right, I'm just gonna blast this guy with everything that I got and see if it kills him. Is he dead? Are you dead, bro? I don't think so. All right, what about the needler? Just stack him full of those things. Nah, still alive. All right, lock and load time. Still alive. Oh, maybe this. Come on, it's just going right through him. All right, it's supernova time. I'm just gonna get over here and let's go. I'm just gonna blast him with a supernova. There we go. Yeah, buddy. All right, did that actually kill him or not? Nah. <laughs> Guy is still alive. Stop it. Oh, I got him with a gravity gun. Got him with a gravity gun. No, 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 no. Oh, he's, he's just killing me. I'm dead. What if we were to take the lift halfway up this building and set off a world eater up there somewhere? Let's see if we can do that. Okay, there's about 30 floors. So let's just go for say 16. 16th floor, perfect. All right, world eater, I don't know, about there somewhere. Is that, is that, is everything's just white. I can't see what's going on. Oh, my computer does not like that. This thing is way too big. The building's just snapped in half and it's just crumbling down on itself. That does look pretty awesome though. The world eater is still going. It's still just taking chunks out of it like a giant sphere. All right, that piece is just gonna fall off, I guess. There's like a really cool circular piece sort of attached to it that's now just getting sliced as well because it only seems to really slice on the outside edge of the world eater. Everything on the inside is fine. Now it's just gonna go down and keep sort of eating the building. Alrighty, so here we have Earth and we have the moon. What would happen if a world eater was to spawn right here on the moon? Let's give this a look. Okay, is the moon gone? I can't tell. Oh, it's not even eating anything and it's just running super slow. Okay, the world eater doesn't like space very much. Kind of strange for a world eater. Okay, let's try an Earth that's a little bit smaller and actually not zero G. Let's see what happens. The world eater is like dangerously close. I reckon this is going to take a bite. Come on, get him. Did that, did that even touch? It didn't even touch yet. Oh, oh, there it is. It's just gotten through the crust. Oh, now it's eating it. Oh, that is very cool. Just slowly being gobbled up <laughs> by the world eater. Eating an actual world, finally. He's probably been starving. Just eating planes and just people. All right, what do we got here? We've almost got the magma core and uh, some, something about a mantle. There's something called a mantle. I don't know what that is. I went to school a long time ago. Oh, oh, where's this going? Why are you rolling away, bro? Come back and fight me. Okay, so this is actually kind of super satisfying and I've just been mesmerized for a couple of minutes. It's coming down, it's eating, and then it weighs more on this side, so it tips over and keeps sort of falling this way. <laughs> it's really weird. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. That's your home, T-Rex. It's getting eaten by the world eater. Oh, come on, come on, get him, get him. Oh, I just got his tail. Just got his tail. Come on, world eater. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right, get that T-Rex. You get him, oh, he lost a little bit of his nose. <laughs> come on, this time, this is the one. This is gonna be the, oh no, we're well out of it. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy. Yeah, got him, T-Rex eater. That's what I should call it. All right, let's finish it off with the supernova. Let's do this. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's good. Nice, just obliterated into so many pieces. We've got Godzilla over here, Titan Cameraman over here, an unlikely battle. No one ever thought it was gonna happen, but it's happening today. But guess what? There's a third contender. 
It's my frame rate. Oh my god. <laughs> the world eater. Where's this world eater? Let's get him out here. That's right. I want to see who's going to win out of Titan Cameraman, Godzilla, and the world eater. As long as Godzilla doesn't blast me with his blasty face move or whatever it is. Okay. All right. That's right. You get him, Titan Cameraman. He's over there. Come on, bro. Watch out for that world eater. He's going to get your ink. I'm in the ground. Why am I in the ground? Oh my god. Oh my god, bad things are happening to Titan Cameraman! No! It got his foot! Oh, that's bad. He's fallen into a hole, just like I did a moment ago. Okay, where's Godzilla? Godzilla's just walking away. He's like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done, bros. I'm just gonna leave this- Oh no, he's lying down. He's having a nap. See ya, champ. In the end, the World Eater always wins. It just consumes everything. Look at it, just eating Titan Cameraman at the moment. Just gobbling him up. Oh, there's like a crater here. Oh, it's just eating his body. I don't know if it can eat the cameras. I think the cameras are like the bit you don't eat. You just spit that bit out or something. Put it in the bin. The world eater's gone. We just have a giant crater where the world eater once was. Man, look at the damage Godzilla did just walking over here. It's huge. All right, we have to dispose of the body. There goes the supernova. Oh, nice. That didn't actually do much. Okay, let's just go with another world eater right there. There we go. Because he kind of fell into the world eater when it was already established quite a bit. He copped a bit of damage on his legs, but it didn't sort of eat him away. This time it will. Yep, look at that. It's just bones. All that's left is just skeleton. All right, what do we got left? We have a camera and skeleton. That's it. The rest of him got eaten. And there's like part of his pants for some reason. I don't know why. All right, guys, if there's anything you want to see me destroy with the world eater, let me know in the comments. Catch you guys next time.